Tom Kuhn here, and I've got an update for you on SBA funding, uh, hot off the press, and I thought I'd share it with you right away. Uh, along with SBA emergency injury disaster loans, the government is also boosting regular SBA programs. Uh, states have been added since our last post. Uh, the current states have that have been declared disaster zones are California, Washington, Oregon, Iowa, Maine, New Hampshire, Connecticut, Massachusetts, New York, and Rhode Island. And we can all we can assume that this is going to grow. However, if your state is not yet approved, contact your governor's office ASAP. Uh, for extra clarity, the SBA economic injury loans are funded directly by the federal government. They will most likely require a lien on your business uh, and home. I want to be clear about that. Well, they will most likely require a lien on your business and home. Um, they are available only in the sp if the small business is unable to obtain credit elsewhere for requests under $350,000. Another really good option and maybe an even better option is traditional SBA programs. The government is increasing funding to these programs by $50 billion and is waiving all fees for loans for one year for lenders and borrowers. They are increasing the loan limit for SBA express loans from $350,000 to $1 million and they provide a revolving line of credit. SBA lenders are being incentivized to take on more risk. Very interesting. Emergency loan. Let me give you the pros and the cons. Pros are low rates and longer paybacks. Cons, expected to be slow and co um, complex process. There will be no buffer between you and the government. Uh, traditional SBA and existing lenders, pros and cons. Pros, likely to get you to the finish line faster. Cons, rates will be higher and payback faster. If you have a current SBA loan, they are very difficult to refinance, but you can apply for a second SBA loan in addition to your current loan. For either situation, you will need the following. A FICA score of 650 or higher. No bankruptcies in the last five years. Been in business for a minimum of two years and have positive cash flow for last year. Uh, these are some documents to get together. Three years of business and personal tax returns. Personal financial statements for all owners with a 20% or greater in, uh, ownership interest. Business debt schedule. Uh, government also wants three, rev listen to this one, the government wants three revised 2020 budgets slash forecasts, a month by month from last year to this year, as well as a worst case, which is a doomsday version, a medium case, uh, which is a medium version, and a best case is it's all going to be okay version. Um, if you need help or recommendations and resources on how to prepare uh, these documents, um, you can contact my colleague Michelle Schuster at cunity.com. I will spell that out with for you and will also include it in the link here. M Michelle, M-I-C-H-E-L-L-E -L -L -E dot Schuster, S-H-U-S-T-E-R at cunityinc.com. Um, there will be a fee, but we'll, you know, We'll make it as nominal as possible because we know things are incredibly difficult. If you're concerned about your ability to make loan or credit card payments, call your lenders and credit card companies right, right away and ask for deferment of payments so that non-payment does not affect your credit. Um, now, we are publishing other videos, guys. It's going to be under the umbrella of weathering a financial storm. Um, I recorded one um, earlier. Uh, we're going to post that. Uh, if you are not, uh, if, if you don't get our emails, let Michelle know that and we'll include you on our email list because that's where we're going to be continuing to provide additional content um, as it relates to weathering this storm um, and on topics not just the SBA finance. Uh, let me just see. Um, all right. Also, follow us on YouTube because uh, we're going to be posting more information. I hope you guys find this useful. Um, you know, we're all in this together and we're here to be a resource for you. Thank you very much.